Duke University and has a degree in philosophy from Oxford University. He is the author of A Theory of Reasons for Action and The Moral Criticism of Law. I want to thank all of you for coming here and welcome to you. We have, in effect, uh, another guest tonight, and that is the collective opinions of some people in Columbus, Ohio, an important test city for both products and ideas. This is the first national opportunity to expose instant spontaneous audience responses to a controversial documentary program. We'll be sampling those opinions through uh, the two-way cube system of Warner Amex Cable. And though by no means a scientifically controlled survey, it does offer an interesting electronic show of hands as people in Columbus will be reacting to the program Choosing Suicide and to the discussion. Well, we're now going to bring the CUBE viewers into the discussion with a first general question. And that question is, in broad terms, do you agree with Joe Roman's decision? And this is a three-way choice. Yes, no, or not sure. Now, CUBE viewers are now responding by pressing one of the five buttons on their home consoles. As the Warner Amex computer system anonymously counts and displays their responses in percentages. We'll be asking other questions at intervals throughout the course of the next hour. The result is in this fast, and that is to the question, do you agree with Joe Roman's decision? We see 48% said yes, 32% said no, and 20% were not sure. We'll, as I said, we'll, we'll come back with, with uh, more questions for them. Our panelists here in the studio, however, can tell us not only whether they agree or disagree with any aspect of this, but why. And I'm sure each of you had quite a range of responses to what we viewed in the last hour. And I would like each of you to have the opportunity to express his position before we open it up for general discussion. Suppose we start uh, with you, Dr. Neal. What was your reaction to what you witnessed? Well, Hugh, I, what can one human being say in response to another human being taking their life? It's overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> They're going to answer it. Check any of those three. Uh, you know, I have conflicting responses. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to think about it, what to feel about it that clearly. I suppose that during the hour, I and maybe some other people will cut it down to size, make it something I can make a judgment about, make it something I can spin out a theory about. Uh, maybe we have to do that to get a handle on it, to cut it down a bit. But I hope we uh, disagree. I hope that whether two or more gather together, they disagree, and some people who are alone will, will find conflicts within. So at least that will remind us that the piece of life, which this is, is bigger than what we have to say about it. Uh, I don't know whether I like this woman or not. I don't know whether I approve of what 